much. And joining us now is Janet Napolitano, the former Secretary of Homeland Security, who was part of the recovery effort after Hurricane Sandy back in 2012. Uh, Madam Secretary, it's very good to see you again. From all of your experience with Sandy, what is the federal government's largest challenge now in disaster recovery? Well, the federal government uh, needs to be doing what it is doing, which is providing support uh, to the state of Florida, to the Florida communities that were so severely damaged in Hurricane Ian, um, and uh, you know, to make sure that the disaster recovery is is going according to plan, which I have to say, from all out, outward appearances, it seems to be. Now. One of the issues is certainly the bridges and the infrastructure for getting power restored. And we've been told that at least in two of those barrier island areas, they are going to have to just completely rebuild the electrical grid. So it's going to take a long time before those people have electricity. Well, uh, rebuilding the, the grid is one of the chief challenges when you have a massive storm like Ian Ian was, because without electrical power, uh, people can't uh, return to their homes. Uh, without electrical power, you can't get gasoline uh, because gas pumps rely on electricity. Uh, in Hurricane Sandy, we had a lot of people who lived in high-rise buildings, uh, and elevators don't work without electrical power. So getting that grid up and running and restored is key. And one of the things that I've noticed in the response to Ian is the number of power crews they already have on the ground working this problem. Crews from all over the country. Uh, there was one that had driven from Nebraska that was working that I saw this morning. Um, now, both Governor DeSantis, who is believed to have presidential ambitions himself, and President Biden, seem to be putting their political differences aside. We haven't really seen any friction. Um, you saw that work with President Obama and Chris Christie. Um, I did, and, and I think it uh, illustrates, you know, what government is there for. Government is there to to help people, uh, to to help them with their lives, uh, to help their communities, uh, and particularly in a disaster response and recovery situation, you really have to put politics aside. And when you when you see this area, does does it occur that in some of these beach areas, especially with climate change and uh, what we've seen with the oceans warming, that not only building codes, which are the best in the country, apparently, in Florida, but not only building codes, but flood insurance, FEMA's flood maps, which require the mandatory insurance in some cases, but in a lot don't, and also just whether or not this, some of these areas should be rebuilt, whether they should be residential. Do you have thoughts on that? Yeah, I do. I think, it, um, particularly given uh, the impacts of climate change and the fact that these big storms are likely to increase in number and intensity over time, uh, we really need to have a greater public discussion and resolution about how to, how and whether to rebuild. Uh, what's required for resilience uh, so that communities are better prepared to survive these kinds of storms, uh, where public money should be invested, uh, how insurance uh, should work. Uh, and I, I suspect that in the long-term recovery from Ian, some of these issues will come to the fore. Well, it's great to see you, Janet Napolitano. Thank you so much, the former Homeland Security Secretary, who had so many storms on her own watch, especially Hurricane Sandy.